I think I finally found what I deem to be the perfect USB speaker for the time being. It is this one. Yeah, do not be deceived by its small appearance. The sound quality is actually really great on this. Now, what's the background of it? Well, if you're like me, you've probably wondered uh, which is a small, compact USB speaker that will deliver great sound and has at least some reasonable bass to it. And I found a few and I thought I was happy with them, but there were things that I was never happy with. For example, let me just get it out of the way now, it's a volume control. Usually you have to like press the next button, uh, if you hold it in then it sets the volume after a second or so it sets the volume up, or the previous button, if you keep, it, keep pressing it in then it, after a few seconds the volume will go down. But uh, yeah, of course every time your favorite song comes on and you want to set the volume up a little bit, you press it and then it plays the next track. <laughs> Bummer! Instead of raising the volume, you accidentally go to the next track and you didn't want to do that. But uh, this one, that's not a problem. Here's the volume control. Let me just turn it on, oh, but then it's gonna start playing now because there's a TF card in there. Let me show you that. It does take a USB stick and a TF card and what is that? Auxiliary in. Yeah, the, the, this funny shape is so that it can have nice bass, and it has nice bass. Yeah, DC 5 volt, that's what the other port was. Let me just get this USB stick in there. There we go. Your USB stick can go in there. Unfortunately, now it's oddly shaped. Best, I would say, is just plug the TF card in there, the micro SD card. Then, uh, yeah, the shape will not be so funny, because this is just going to break off, I can see now if I shove it against the wall or into a shelf or something. So, oh, which is this? This is the HY40. Yeah, I have the packaging here. Let's just see the packaging. You see it says there, Super Bass Speaker HY40, BT, that's Bluetooth, FM, USB, TF, Auxiliary. Is that Auxiliary or Auxiliary? I don't even know. That's all that's on the box. It says HY40 and there it says HY40 again. Here it just says the color. They ticked black. It supposedly also comes in red and white and blue. Function parameters. Yeah, let's read that quickly. We have built-in lithium battery voltage 3.7 volt. Charging voltage 5 volt. Frequency response 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Speaker power 5 watt times 2. Effective distance 10 meters, I suppose that's for the Bluetooth. Size is 164 by 135 by 77 millimeters. Uh, there's your buttons 1, 2, 3. That is for previous on, off, or oh, mode. Next, 4 is for oh, it's volume, it's this big volume knob. And auxiliary, yes, I showed you that, USB, DC 5 volt, TF card, yeah. Use with, what is that, tablet, computer, phone, or what is that, the reader, uh, well, anyway. What's in the box is the radio and the cable, and what is that, what does that say, user manual, yeah, that's very small, made in China, of course, where else? So yeah, that's the information. Here's the user manual. It's just a little leaflet that says how to work it. Radio mode, charging, function parameters, packing list. And what is what? Bluetooth connection, power on off, music play, mode switch. I think these things are pretty obvious. By now we all are literate in using these things. With this one, you turn it on. They're in the center. Hold it in for about three seconds. Play by TF card. And now it's gonna play by TF card. Okay. Yeah, as you can hear, there's very nice bass here. Uh, let me just take out the TF card, because I hear that's gonna play copyrighted music, and we don't want a copyright strike, or whatever bull. Uh, yeah. Let's just play this royalty-free music off of this USB stick. Well, actually, that's a big card that I plugged into a card reader and then into this unit. Bluetooth 
Bluetooth mode. Oh, now it's Bluetooth mode. Oh, is it not going to play that by the looks of it? What's mode again? Uh, mode is... Oh, the on-off button, yeah. Press play by to... USB drive. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a very nice bass on it. What happened now? Oh, I turned down the volume. Very nice bass on this unit. Yeah, I don't know if you can make out the bass on the camera sound, but uh, yeah, there's very nice bass on it, and it's because of this shape. It's got a little hole in there or a tunnel, and then of course it's this shape makes for a very nice bass. Switch the volume. Yeah, very easy volume knob. The only thing about this volume knob is uh, there you hear it's now completely silent and then when I it click click clicks very softly see now there's already sound there now there's nothing and now there's sound so you cannot go really really softly if for example you want to sleep at night with this you might want this a sound setting even softer than that but uh, yeah, if for just usual listening to music, very nice. Alright, I think you get the idea now. Very nice sound coming out of this little portable thing. Originally I actually bought it because one of the cars I drive in, uh, I don't know if it blew a fuse or something, and the radio stopped working, but that radio only has a CD player. So I thought, you know what, let me just see if this will work in the car, and it does. Got just the right amount of bass. Actually sounds really nice in the car also to listen to this. Oh, it's a nice, nice hand massage if I hold it like this. I can feel the bass vibrating through my hands. And once you're done... Power off. Hold in the power button and it goes power off. Alrighty, now your duty is to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and we'll talk about more stuff next time. I'll see you around.